involved sa drugs or gumagamit ka ng illegal na droga yung presidente, would that be a basis for his impeachment? Hindi. Baka noon. Mm. Baka noon. Tapos wala na. Hindi mm. niya. So, it doesn't affect his presidency. Kahit na nga ginagawa niya pa, the, <clears throat> the grounds for impeachment are very clear kung ano nakalagay doon. Mm. Hindi kasama doon yun. Kasi, di ba, we, we even consider addiction to drug as a sickness, mm -hmm. sakit na dapat gamutin. Mm -hmm. Not a ground for impeaching a president. But Usap-usapan naman, Attorney Sal, nga, no? yung in-upload ni Claire Contreras, so mas kilala sa tawag na Maharlika, sa social media o sa kanyang social media account, ang mga dokumento na sinasabing mula sa Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency of PDEA dated March 11, 2012, upang patunayan ang kanyang pahayag na si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos ay nasa narco watch ng ahensya. Sa kanyang social media post, sinabi ni Maharlika, and I quote, confirmed ang sinabi ni PRRD na nasa listahan si Marcos Jr. ng PDEA noong panahon ni Noy Noy. Alam mo kaming mga abogado, we just don't believe in anything that we hear or say. Mm -hmm. So yung dokumento niya should be confirmed, validated by the PDEA. Mm -hmm. But what if the PDEA, kasi he's the president, you can always tell the government agency, deny those, those documents. Uh, wala tayong ano. Paano? How will you prove it? Mm -hmm. Na hindi nga. Mm -hmm. Kailangan, it's a matter of proof. <clears throat> that was dated siya in 2012. So, hahanapin mo sino yung mga operatiba nun at the time of 2012. Sino ang namuno? Sabi, And then, akin, they can verify mm -hmm. it. Kasi tinanong ko si Presidente dyan, mm -hmm. Duterte. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya sa akin, well, unang-una, Basta ako ano yung sinabi ko yun ang nangyari. Nakita ko, sabi ko sa kala, huwag oh, nyo naintindihin niya. No, I told him, oh, wala na rin sa PDEA. Ah, I'll not be surprised. Pwede either tinanggal nila on their own mm -hmm. or pinatanggal sa kanila. Mm -hmm. oh, yun lang yun. Mm -hmm. But what if attorney saw in the future, let's say, rhetoric tong question ko, na in the future may iba pang ebidensya that may substantiate na involved sa drugs or gumagamit ka ng illegal na droga yung presidente, would that be a basis for his impeachment? Hindi. Unang-una, assuming na totoo yan. Mm -hmm. 19 ano yan? 2012. Tagal-tagal oh, na. Mm -hmm. oh, baka, baka noon. Mm -hmm. Baka noon. Tapos wala na. Hindi mm -hmm. niya. So, it doesn't affect his presidency. Kung ngayon. Mm -hmm. Unless ngayon ay ginagawa pa rin oh. niya. Well, kahit na nga ginagawa niya pa, the, <clears throat> the grounds for impeachment are very clear kung ano nakalagay doon. Mm -hmm. Hindi kasama doon yun. Kasi, di ba, we, we even consider addiction to drug as a sickness, mm -hmm. sakit na mm -hmm. dapat gamutin. Mm -hmm. Not a ground for impeaching a president. But if the president is sick, oh. is he capable to lead the country? If you, if, kasi, sakit, sabi mo. Ang pag ng Sick na. yung na ikaw ay addicted. Mm -hmm. Pero if, if it doesn't affect your faculties, mm -hmm. oh, nakikita naman na. <laughs> of course, sinasabi na yung isang kaibigan mo, no, baka may diferensya ng ulo. <laughs> eh, mahiling mm -hmm. lang yun sana. Pero I will not go that far. Mm -hmm. eh, so far naman, okay naman ang mga demeanor niya. Mm -hmm. huh? So far? Oh, so far naman, okay naman siya. Kaya sabi natin, eh, pagbigyan na support, hanap mm -hmm. muna natin. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Di ba, ang Pilipino naman eh. Pag sumobra ka na, tanggal ka. Mm -hmm. Kaya ng Pilipino. Mm -hmm.